up, guys? Episode number 14. Yes, sir. We're here. What are you sipping on? Sipping on a PBR. Damn. PBR and some Coors. Cheers. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I do it every time, dude. I go it's, like this. It's like <laughs> they're spooning. <laughs> yeah, I know, dude. It's so weird. I, I just can't get in that habit. Maybe I other... Know. I think some people just... Belly and then some people the For tip. Me, I don't know. It's like, not this even is, a tip. It's more like I don't know. Cause, dude, I think you're at risk of your like if you had uh t- like a a beer bottle, oh. you're at risk of that shit breaking, dude. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say what? <laughs> you're at risk of catching something like herpes or. <laughs> well, that too, dude. That too, man. I, dude, I'm I'm probably like a a germaphobe. <laughs> like I don't fucking you know I fucking you know stay away. So, dude. You want to get right into it? Uh, We'll get like right in between there. Deep, nice and deep like. Yeah, like nice and tucked in there. Right. Um, So like I was scrolling through the internet the other day, right? Mm-hmm. And um, I seen this, um, I seen this, uh, this picture of Jesus, right? So I'm like, oh, cool. It's a picture of Jesus, you know? And it's obviously the most iconic uh, Jesus picture, which is from the, the Renaissance times of Italy. All the Renaissance painters, um, I believe it was Da Vinci in that time, and um, uh, I believe Da Vinci did one of those Jesus portraits. You know the the Renaissance Jesus portraits, and it turns out that uh, the Last Supper, no? Yeah, he did the Last Supper and obviously Mona Lisa and shit. Um, so um, it turns out that the picture, the image of Jesus, like when you think of Jesus, what do you think about? Like, what do you think in your head, like of Jesus? Well, it's always the same, the same image that we, we, well, that everybody around the world probably sees, and it's that the he's like kind of like lighter complected, has the the beard, brown beard and brown long hair. In other words, he looks like a white European male. They made him. They painted him as a very beautiful man. You know, like very like. But a white European male. Correct. Right. Mm-hmm. So okay. He doesn't even look. Um. Middle Eastern. Middle Eastern, yeah. Exactly. So the thing is, so the the secret to that is that it turns out um, that, so at that time, there was this uh, pope, right? His name was uh, Rodrigo Bourgeois, and uh, he had a son, and for the longest time, I've been calling him Cesar, <laughs> but it turns out it's Cesare. Yeah, Cesare. Cesare. Yeah, Cesare. That's how they say it on the on the History Channel. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So Cesare Bourgeois, his but in, son. In Spanish, it would be Cesar, right? Or Cesare. What's well, Cesare? Yeah. I don't know, Cesare. Sounds Italian. Wait, they're Spanish though. They're Spanish. So it's a Spanish family called the Bourgeois, <laughs> right? Yeah. So then it's Rodrigo Bourgeois, and then he had a son named Cesare Bourgeois. So the crazy thing about this is that they were pre- they infiltrated the Vatican. I mean, if you put it into perspective, they technically did because they went into the Vatican, you know, for one reason, one reason only for power, take over the Vatican. So um, this guy, Rodrigo, also known as a uh, AKA, what is it? Alexander the sixth, Alexander the sixth. Right. So um, they went solely with the purpose of power, because at that time, dude, like being the pope. Dude, you're basically the the ruler of the world. You're yeah, you're running. And I things. will put it into perspective in several mm-hmm. ways. Um, for example, they they allowed the the uh, the enslavement of of natives, um, and uh, yeah, dude, they did whatever they wanted. They can choose who who to be king because you know they would crown the kings through through the Catholic Church. Um, and they did that for the for the longest while. They needed like the the approval of the church in order to be a king or queen. And I think that they still do that to this day. Like, you know, like I think Queen Elizabeth had to do that shit. Like you get crowned by and technically in a point uh what would you call it? Uh like a designee of, of, of the Lord of God, right? And that happens to be, you know, as far as the Catholic sees it, uh, the Pope. So this guy, you know, he wanted that. He wanted that power, you know, Pope Alexander, right? So this guy, he he became the Pope. And his son was a cardinal. Yeah. Yeah, I said that right. Cesare? His son. A Pope had a son. 
and a dude with a son was the Pope. And his son was a cardinal. Does that make any sense, dude? <laughs> it does not. It goes against, like, the main fucking thing you shouldn't do as a Catholic, as a Catholic priest. You know, they... Have a family. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. They're sworn into God, and the dude's fucking every, everything and everybody, you know? Um, so, you know, uh, it turns out that this guy was so obsessed with power, he wanted to be remembered through the ages. Dude, this guy's fucking genius if you think about it. So this guy figured out a way to incorporate uh his story his his bloodline into artwork he knew was gonna be for the ages dude da vinci yeah. one of the greatest to ever exist so they got da vinci to create uh you know well, actually i'm not sure if it was da vinci but they got a renaissance painter to create the um, the image of jesus christ with the face of uh cesare bourgeois his son so let me go into the, I guess, to uh, m- kind of meet your story. Yes. Of what you know. Go ahead. Of the bourgeois. I'll start from the beginning, <coughs> right? Yeah. So this started in, in like 14... 1470 something. Yeah. 1492. 1492. Oh, 1492. And so the, I guess his name was Rodrigo, right? You said? Yes. So he became Alexander the Sixth, And he was granted, he was Pope. After he became the Pope, um, his daughter, Lucrecia. Lucrecia. Oh, I'm glad you remember her name. Oh, yeah, dude. I, I, I was almost forgetting it. That's so, a crazy name. So, Lucres- Lucrecia. It's Lucrezi. Lucre- Lucrecia or Lucrecia? <laughs> I don't know. So, Lucrecia got married to a guy named. Uh, uh, I forgot the fucking guy's name, dude. Yeah, th- I think she was married to a couple guys. So, sh- the first guy she marries. Damn, I wish a man of power. Name. Yeah, so she marries this guy, and this guy wanted to. So, fuck, I'm fucking up this story. So yeah. she marries. <laughs> it. They have this big old ceremony. The dad, I guess, like he was very possessive over Lucrecia. Yeah, like, she was the biggest slut. Like though. to the point where, like, she would she catered to her dad, like you know, it was almost kind of like Sick. weird. Like, like the dad had a thing for the girl. Oh, dude, I'm going to dive into that, too, man. So, check it out. She gets married to this guy. I don't remember if it was Olivia. Like, I don't even Olivia. matter, yeah. but, yeah. So, she's married to this guy. But he's a man of power, right? I think so. He's, like, in the court. He's Italian he's a, or something. I forgot what yeah. he was. Yeah. But she marries this guy. And the first night, so the only way that you can... So he, the dad wanted them to consummate the marriage. That that would seal the deal for them to be finally, okay, you're married by law once you consummate. So the dad was there, um, and he watched. Well, he didn't watch, but they were behind a sheet, and they consummated their marriage. But the dad was present. So what does consummating the marriage mean? Like having, having sex? Having sex. That makes it official, right? That makes it official. That means, like, you have That's like a yourself. pagan fucking tradition right there. Oh, <laughs> really? I mean, <clears throat> it sounds like it. I've seen it like in movies, and I don't know the movies get it from, from like actual history, you know, reports. But, but yeah. Anyways, so he watched them, right? So he watched them, and boom. Okay, they're married. It was official right there. After I think a couple of months go by, Lucrecia's husband wants to move them away. Like he wants he wants them to move. Yeah. And Alexander the Sixth wasn't having it. Mm. So he told them um, he was trying to make up an excuse as to why the guy was leaving. And he told them, OK, so this is what he wanted to do. So Alexander, <coughs> Alexander the sixth created a fucking rumor that he was impotent so that the guy couldn't, uh, you know, couldn't procreate procreate. And he created that in order to annul the marriage, in order to completely, like, to, to have them divorce because... Was he the Pope already? Yeah, he was the Pope. Well, yikes, a Pope doing that, huh? <laughs> so to his daughter that he fuck. shouldn't even have. So he that was fucker. already trying to uh, annul the marriage because of the fact that this guy was taking his daughter away. And that's his prized possession, Alexander the Sixth. But So rumors were, though, Lucrezia was a slut. 
that she'd fuck everybody and anybody. But As a matter of fact, out. they're saying that Shazari was fucking her too. So that's the crazy thing. They were using her like a pawn, pretty much. So what I understood from that was that they made her marry. They they plotted who she was going to marry. Correct. So that they can kill him and gain power from it as far as riches or, or shit like that. So that's they did that with everybody, even in the Vatican, like cardinals, dude. Fucking people left and right, powerful families. They were just killing everybody, dude. And may I remind you, they were in the fucking Vatican while they did this shit. And Which is why I always told you the Vatican has some shady ass history. Oh no, dude! Now shady. I'm glad dude. I watched that. Like that. Wait, little... were you aware of this before though, or no? Well, no. I've always been aware that there's like corruption, a mystery, and there's like a lot of corruption. Yeah, within the Catholic religion and the Vatican and the Pope. Dude, but for the Vatican. But to I never allow slavery, that's that's fucking evil, dude. So basically, he said, and, and then he said, whoever, like whichever natives didn't didn't con- convert to uh, to Catholicism, kill them, dude. Bad. Yeah, I think, you think the, about it. Even the people that came over to the Americas and everything, and and came in. That's how it was. They came in. Either you're gonna be- believe our ways, or you you, you die. Well, and they I, still, no matter what, they're still going to rape and do whatever they want oh, to yeah. these people. Oh, dude, yeah. And, and look, I won't go deep into this. I'll do my research and talk about it next episode. But uh, I believe the Knights Templar, that that was, that's their guys, aren't they? That's the ca- Catholic, the Catholics. Um, I'm not sure. Well, they they are. Yeah. They are. I'm pretty sure they are. Yeah. But um, I know that they killed a shitload of people. They went to war. They did wars. So you have um, you know, and, and this on 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 the order of the Pope, so the Pope ordering, you know, war. acts of war is just that's what I'm saying, so dude. Contradictory. It, yeah. So like nowadays, it, it's a whole different ballpark because it had to be. I guess they do what they have to do, what they have to be at the time, to blend in with the times. But to me personally, that that still doesn't settle right. Um, there's just too much mystery behind that, dude. But you know, to go back into that though, um, it's like I always loved. I love talking about Da Vinci all the fucking time. Really interesting character. Um, can I finish about the bourgeois though? All right, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Sorry. Yeah. Just go that, ahead. Yeah, because we'll it will tap into the bourgeois we'll too. To da Vinci. This this the Da Vinci and bourgeois relationship gives me some suspicion okay. about certain things. And so after after that marriage is over, right? Uh, she eventually falls in love they had matched her with another guy and um yeah i fucking forgot his name too son of a bitch it's okay <laughs> but anyway she marries this guy and love at first sight she completely falls in love they consummate their marriage and they six months later they're having a child all right she's pregnant um it turns out cesare at the time had killed his own brother yeah, he was Giovanni. jealous. Yeah, no wait, what? I think his name was Giovanni. No, it was uh, Alfonso. Oh, Alfonso? Yeah. For real? Yeah. Okay. No, no so Giovanni sure. was her first husband. Ah, oh, there you go. There you go. We got the name. And Cesare killed Giovanni. Probably. Yeah, yeah. that's what they say that he Cesare killed Giovanni. So then the second guy that married uh, Lucrezia was also killed at the steps of the. Of the church or the cathedral or whatever, St. Yes. Peter's, and they say that it was a henchman of Cesare's that killed them. You see, the thing is, you can't say it was a the Vatican though, cause, cause everyone hate, dude. Everyone hated, um, that Pope. Everyone hated Pope Alexander, dude. Yeah, cause he was so corrupt. E- even within the church, no one liked him. So like, he might have committed acts on his own behalf. With disregard to the Vatican, without a doubt saying that the Vatican wasn't bad or corrupt at that time anyways, but it was just a different strand. They didn't like him because he was Spanish. Oh, wow. They, they, you know, they wanted an, an Italian so, pope. Or so they when, didn't want no Spanish pope. So, when, so you're saying, so when he even first was elected pope, there was already indifference? Yes, because yes, oh, wow. you know what, dude? Okay, so, all right, check this out, dude. 
So, um, I will finish this story first. So, yeah, pretty much the Pope was so engulfed with power. He was so in love with it that um, what he did was that he got a Renaissance painter, paint the portrait of Jesus. Um, but he used Cesare as the model type for the portrait. The painter, though, wasn't it Machiavelli? No, Machiavelli. Machiavelli. Machiavelli I, actually, I don't know. I don't think so. Because Machiavelli, he's the, the author of The Prince. He wrote the book, The Prince. But I'm not sh That I know of, I don't know if he's the artist or not. But it could have been... Dude, there were so many great Renaissance painters at that time. It could have been any of them. It could have even been Da Vinci for all I know, to be yeah. honest. Because Da Vinci actually did a lot of stuff for the bourgeois. Oh, I didn't even know he was an architect. Yeah, he no, did a lot of did. architecture. That guy was everything. <laughs> dude, that guy was like, Jesus, like the jack of all trades. And he was fucking great was brilliant. at each one of them. So he wasn't just good at everything. He was fucking amazing. He was one of those people that like anything that you put in front of him, he wanted to master it. Like that's what he was. Like, and I, dude, everyone should be that way. And it's just a matter of, you know, your mind, like set your mind to it and you'll do it. Having that enthusiasm. Yeah, dude, but, um, yeah, so the Pope wanted to do that because, um, actually, it's more metaphorical what he was trying to do. He was trying to say that his son Cesare was Jesus and he was God in the flesh. That's so fucking insane. That's, like, the most blasphemous shit ever. You think he was doing it that way? Yes. Yeah, dude, dude, that guy like clearly... He was, he was thinking that? Yes. Yeah. Dude. Kanye thinks he's God because he wrote some albums and shit. Now, imagine this guy is in charge of all of the Eastern Hemisphere. I told you what I thought I was. A God. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Dude, imagine, like, dude, the Pope used to say that shit to himself in the mirror every fucking day, dude. For sure, dude. So, um, you know, yeah, these guys, they, you know, they they weren't fucking around. They, um, they were wolves in uh, sheep's clothing. Is that how you say it? Or is it yeah. vice versa? Yeah, a wolf wearing sheep's clothes. That's that's what it is, and that's why I think religious a religion religion is so dangerous because there might be a lot of sheep, and amongst in, amongst yeah. them, dude, there's there's a lot of, of wolves out there. So and you see it, dude. You witness it sometimes when you're, like, say you're at church and there's like, oh, those are the people right there that they're like the hypocrites, you know, like they're the very judgmental or they're very shysty people oh yeah and they're there at church every sunday so like i i think <laughs> that like um if you're there at church like amongst the masses and shit like that's fine um you don't go to church to uh you know to show off your perf it's not your for perfection status. Yeah. it's for to get better it's for people trying to get better so like if you're there judging someone that's doing worse than you like you're you're just a dick that's why like it's everyone goes there to get better like that's the whole point yeah people that need help so like, but if you're a pastor or a priest and you're one of the the shiesty guys, then dude, it's like dude, when you go when you drive through like sixty third or shit, like you see like every pastor with a fucking badass Cadillac and shit. Oh, really? Yeah, dude. I remember. Uh, there's this. Uh, it's a black church, dude. And uh, there was, I was a, about to go into there was a, a badass there. Cadillac, and then like you see the pastor coming out the caddy, dude, and then he's got like you know like. Some 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 black ladies around him all like all up on him and trying to hug him and shit. I'm like, damn, all, dog. The, mom, all the moms after church. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure there's some really devoted, um, you know, black Catholic mothers out there and shit, or or you know, women. And then you know, there's just the wolves, like anywhere else. Same thing in the fucking uh in the Mexican churches, dude. I saw a video. You see a lady go in heels in there. Trying to look good for for the fucking neighbor that's going to church too. Yeah, no, it's, it's terrible. It's, it's it's crazy. That's the one thing I don't understand. People wearing a skimpy ass outfit to church, dude. I know, dude. Showing like, cleavage and shit, like chill, fuck out of here. Chill out. Dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Go, fuck, like, get we're your here, jersey short we're ass here out of here. Trying to focus our minds on on Jesus, not to be looking at your titties. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, wearing like right? the, wearing the cheetah heels and shit. Like, get the <laughs> get the fu fucking. Fuck out of here, dude. It's, yeah, it's pretty stupid, dude. I know, man. But uh, but that those those people that's wrong of them to walk in and think that that's okay. I'd rather you come in and be wearing like literally some like 
dirty ass clothes yeah then come in wearing a skimpy ass outfit all done up some people i'm sure they know what they're doing they're trying to seduce other other men and shit or vice versa you know men trying to attract other females in there but uh, I feel like some people j- just are really that arrogant that they don't even realize how arrogant they are. Like, they're, they they're don't... Not, they're not aware. They're not aware of the dumbass shit they're doing. They just think that, like, it's just another day in the office yeah. of being a dick. <laughs> but, <laughs> I remember uh, one time, dude, <laughs> at, uh, at St. Pius Church over on 18th Street. Uh, I went with, with Nayeli one day on a Sunday. I took her, and there was... Uh, you know how they have sometimes at the church they'll have like the group of kids that are studying for their either their communion or their confirmation. Yeah. So they had the group of kids and there was like a senor, like a guy watching them. He was standing. He had glasses on. He had his cachucha on. He had his hat on, and he's chewing gum and he's like this. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> During the whole service, I'm like, dude, <laughs> sit down. <laughs> yeah, Mister uh, <laughs> Mister <laughs> Sway. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wow. No, dude, but the the whole thing with the pastor, you pastor, pastor. I'm I'm so dumb, dude. Uh, But no, the pastor, there was one, a video that I saw recently where there's a pastor crying because he's getting, he got a sentence for fraud or something. Wow. (laughs) He's crying, right? Fuck that guy. I'm just crying because of the church. (laughs) They're going to need me. Mama, I love you. Like, okay, dude, you're crying. You're making millions off of these people. <laughs> Probably has like a private jet and all these cars. Oh, and shit. dude. Like, dude, there's so much shit that we probably don't know about. So, like, this is where I want to tap into Bourgeois and Da Vinci, right? Yep. <clears throat> so, Cesare had a relationship with Da Vinci, right? As far as like, uh, like work related or it just, they had something there, right? They had a connection, right? So, um, dude, honestly, I doubt Da Vinci was very religious like that. I'm sure like there's no there's no way. I'm sure that he knew there was a a special being, but his his uh, knowledge for him to make that painting of the Last Supper the way he did. There's no way that he believed the whole story. And well, this is where I'm going to get into it, though. He questioned faith. This is where I'm going to get into it. So check this out. So. Cesare Bourgeois and Pope Alexander went in there solely for power. They don't give a fuck about Jesus, dude. So um, think about so it. Up, yeah. Yeah, dude. So think about it. So they went in there solely for power, right? Which means that they're not they're not really looking at preserving the, the Catholic religion for whatever plans they have. They're doing it for whatever the fuck they want to do and get out of it from the power that comes from within it, right? And that's why people, towards the end, they were trying to get them the fuck out of there because they were bringing, they're, they're killing the Catholic uh, yeah, they're Catholicism. Gonna be, yeah. They were, I'm sure, close to being the whistleblowers, and that's where I'm going to get into. So if you look at uh, Da Vinci's paintings, um, I've seen like several videos and documentaries. It turns out a lot of Da Vinci's um, paintings, dude, are, are based off mathematics and secrets and like there's actually actual formulas in there like dude he's telling you a whole lot of shit in that painting it's not just a fucking painting there's a whole context to that like what is he trying to say so like for example the last supper um and dude obviously dude this has came out on the da vinci code and this came out on documentaries and this came out on videos and conspiracy theorists and it makes sense right so According to conspiracy theorists and the documentaries, it says that in the Last Supper, um, there's an apostle to his left and he's leaning on somebody. And it turns out that if you were to actually flip that um, apostle and and um, in a perfect like half, like literally the silhouette of that apostle would match perfectly with the silhouette of Jesus. So it would look like it's leaning on Jesus, like man and wife type of shit, you know? And uh, according to popular belief, what they're saying is that Jesus actually um, was married to Mary Magdalene. So what happened was, um, it, dude, Jesus was was most likely real. He was most likely great, you know? He was most likely an enlightened uh, human being. And, dude, I, man, if he was God, dude, honestly, awesome, right? Cool. Um, but if he wasn't, this would also make sense. You have a person of that high intellect, of that fucking, uh, 
you know, that power mentally and physically. Um, you don't want to more. You don't want to make him mortal, dude. You want to make him immortal, right? So, like, you know, the the Bible at that time was, you know, ran by the by the Hebrew, right? The the, the Jewish. So based off the the Old Testament. So you wanted someone godlike. Someone godlike wasn't gonna engage in sexual activity or shit like that, you know. So they make it believable. So what happens if Jesus gets crucified? And and he they like wait he's actually he has a movement going on people are following him all over the place why are we gonna say he had a baby with Mary why don't we just say that um, he never had a baby with Mary this guy was divine he did what no human could do like what what about that 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 will make more of a mark in the Bible if we create our new Bible you know for example the uh, is the Old Testament is and the New. The New Testament, right? So, yeah, that looks better in the New Testament, dude. Imagine, nah, Jesus had a baby mama. It don't sound good, dude. It don't sound good, and it goes against a lot of the foundation of, of, Christianity. of Christianity, dude. It would debunk it. So, with that being said, uh, how dude, do we it's, know? And it's upsetting that, like, just because of ego and not wanting to be, uh, I guess... Not wanting to sh shine a light on like the truth. Yeah, they just decide to, like, oh, well, dude, let's keep it this. Dude, this I'll way. tell you what. It's got the world has gotten so molded by religion that if there was like a a a very devastating truth per every religion, dude, we'd be in Armageddon. Let alone with Christianity, if people found out that Jesus had a bloodline, he had descendants, he had babies, dude. Just with Christianity alone, this is a Christian country, you know, dude. We'd be fucked, dude. People that like went to jail and like found Christianity in jail, or <laughs> like they'd be like, man, fuck this shit. I'm going back to jail, motherfucker. Shawshank Redemption, that back shit. To killing. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna kill somebody and go back to jail, man. I ain't got time for this shit, man. <laughs> so see, like, I think It'd be chaotic, dude. And it's ah, uh, that's why it's upsetting, dude. That's why, like, how I tell how I tell you, like that. I consider myself Catholic. Wait, I didn't even tell you the... I'm going to make it real short, dude. Go for it. Sorry. I no, just have to finish good. this bourgeois situation. I'm linking that Da Vinci uh, decoding to the bourgeois, right? Why? Because if they were in relation, right? What makes you think the Pope at that time at the Vatican didn't tell shit to his son... They know all the secrets, dude. The Pope knows everything. Everything. What makes you think the Pope didn't tell Cesare or even Da Vinci, let him in on some secrets? Them, them dudes don't give a fuck about that, dude. <laughs> they care about their power. Yeah. Dude, being with such such a prominent person like uh, Da Vinci, how do we know that Da Vinci wasn't let in on some secrets? And Cesare and, Cesar and dude, that whole family were killers. Yeah. They they were they would kill anybody just to gain some, some uh, what's it called status, like Cesare. He was a straight he was a straight killer, dude. Oh yeah, dude, and he was a fucking cardinal. So that's what I'm saying, dude. Like, Da Vinci knows some shit that we don't know, and he wants us to know. But at that time, if he made it obvious on those paintings, he'd be dead, crucified, yeah, way sooner than he was supposed to die. He died an old fucking man for a reason, bro. Because, dude, he used mathematics to hide his fucking secrets. There's something real deep. So for all those activists throwing shit at paintings, y'all can fuck anything up. Just don't fuck up no Mona Lisa, man. Don't fuck up no Last Supper, bro. Yeah, man. Because, dude, there's some knowledge behind it. Dude, they say that there's knowledge about the pyramids of Egypt and those portraits of... Uh, of uh, Da Vinci. He knew a lot of shit, dude. And I'm sure the, the Vatican knows shit about all over the world. They got files on all kinds of... They got that on all kinds of history from all over the world. Because they're conquerors. They, they were once conquerors, dude. So what do conquerors do? They steal valuable shit. Collect, yeah, data. Yeah. So don't you think that they have a lot of shit we don't know about? And don't you think Da Vinci knew some shit about it? And don't you think he incorporated it in his paintings? Because, dude, you tell me a good-ass secret, I got to say, dude, <laughs> it's pretty hard to keep it in. <laughs> so imagine you knew the truth about Jesus, 
You're gonna tell me you're not gonna try to incorporate it somehow, of somehow course. put it in, a, you know, on a to-do list for someone a that's, thousand years later? That's a good way of putting it, dude. Dude, it's just the truth. It's human like, nature. Like he told he told the the reality, but in such a subliminal. You book, have to. Yeah, subliminal way. Dude, and you, you gotta understand, artists do this all the time.